Welcome to Let Supreme Ghost Thief. So, we're back with another mission, and like I said, this was going to be a surprise, and uh, yeah, we're doing this. Some of you might be asking, what on earth am I doing? I'm currently playing Thief Gold and Death's Cold Embrace. Am I starting a third campaign? Well, no, not really. Uh, I'm only planning on playing this mission, and uh, as you can see in the title, it's Ruins of Originia. I'm going to play the first mission, Mines of Margroth. And uh, I'm going to keep it to that mission for now. Um, I played this mission the first time, I would say, about three to four years ago. And shout out to um, Dale and his channel. I think this was the first video he uploaded, actually. I watched about five or ten minutes of that mission before I ended up liking it so much that I played it myself. And... Um, I couldn't put it down until I had finished it. It's extremely difficult. It's an extremely difficult mission. Okay. Um, I did not ghost it at that time. But I paid attention to some situations in the mission that would be very difficult for a ghost, but possible. So it kind of was uh, boiling in the back of my head, or simmering, I should say. For a couple of years, I ended up coming back to it a little bit here and there. Until I finally decided that let's just stop thinking about it and sit down and actually try to ghost this mission. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do today. Uh, one of the things that attracted me was that it was a very different mission from anything else I've done. And I think that some of you viewers might appreciate that. I know some of you have requested this mission being played. Uh, and some on the forums have mentioned they would like to see this ghosted. And uh, there's no report on any ghost attempts on this mission ever, or any missions in this campaign for that matter. So this is going to be the first, as far as I'm concerned. So it'll be interesting, uh, to say the least. <laughs> um, as always, if you haven't played this mission, I always say please go play it before you watch my video. But in this mission more than any, I urge you to do that. If, if not for anything else, but just take 20 minutes and run through the mission, which you won't be able to do in 20 minutes, but um, hopefully after 20 minutes you'll be so engrossed that you'll keep going and finish it on your own. Um, because then you will get a sense of how incredibly convoluted it is and how many scenarios and situations there are on this mission that'll give us problems for ghosts. And um, we're going to try. We're going to try and see how far we get. We'll see. Um, I have written a report on it, but I haven't uploaded it yet. I wanted to do that at the same time as uploading the mission and in the video form. But enough talking. Let's just go ahead and get going, and we'll talk about it as we, as we start it. Okay. was informed of an interesting opportunity. One of the Hammerites by the name of Bantar didn't like the way things were being run, and he set out on his own. The guy has some guts to escape with some of the Hammerites' relics. A manhunt has begun for Bantar, but he has fled to an ancient mining town with the Hammerites and the elite guards on his trail. The trick is to make a lot of cash by selling the artifacts back to the priest for a handsome price. It's not going to be easy. Guards are on the constant alert for Bantar, but I should be able to sneak in as one of the hired miners. My targets for tonight are two objects. An ancient book written by my old pal, Constantine, and a weathered golden amulet. I should get my bearings by sneaking into the Hammerite headquarters and steal whatever information I can. I will need some maps. The only map I have is of the mining town and a drawing I sketched from a crumbling stone tablet 
that came from the mines themselves. Before taking on the headquarters, I should check out the town to see if I can find anything useful. Rumors have it that Bantar dropped a third relic when he fled deeper into the mines. This relic is called the Gem of Oldor, and I may just want to keep that one for myself. So, on Difficulty Expert, we need to do the following. The Hamrites and Guard Elite have a headquarters. Sneak in and gather some maps information about the mines. That way you may know what they know. Somewhere in the headquarters lies the Soul Stone Gem of Oldorf. The stone could be very hel helpful if the rumors about it are true. Since the Hamrites sealed the mines, there must be a way to open the Iron Door. Okay. Discover the location of the Book of Darkness and seize the book before Bantar summons any demons. Bantar possesses an ancient amulet. Kill him and get the amulet. Find another way out of the mines with the Gem of Oldorf in your possession. Legends talk about an ancient, the Ancient Ones trapping souls into enta enchanted gems. One legend talks about a whistling stone. Find it. Since you don't know what to expect after you escape, get 6,000 6, gold just in case you will need it. Don't kill anyone while you do the job, except Bantar. No servants, guards, bystanders, or Hamrites. Okay, so this is what we have. Uh, 6,000 sounds like a lot, but it's actually not. There's over 12,000 available in the mission, so this is less than 50%, which an expert is pretty low. Um, now, the way to open the iron door to the mines is um, a button. It is not a key. So that isn't really alluded to here. Uh, I think in the abbreviated objectives, let's go ahead and... Well, we'll look at that after, but I think it says a trigger there. It doesn't say, uh, say it as vaguely as it does here. And um, that's it, yeah. So there's a lot to do, and it is one big mission. I'll tell you what. Um, you sort of are in the starting area, and you think that's it but it opens up, and once you get into the mines, it is, yeah, it's, it's such a vast mission. But that's cool. That's really cool. Now, there is no way that we will be able to Supreme Ghost this mission. Absolutely no way. Um, so I am going to lower my expectations and my difficulty level to regular Ghost. I am still going to be able, or I'm still going to focus on trying to reduce the amount of Supreme Busts to a minimum even though that's a lot, it's going to be a lot still. Uh, but I will prioritize Ghost over Supreme Ghost for this mission. I think that suits this recording or this video better. So what that means is I am going to take loot uh, and maximize the loot for Ghost. If there are some pieces of loot that I will have to bust Supreme to get, I will still get those loot items. I don't normally do that, but I will for this mission, just to see how much loot we can get. Uh, I will also throw in a couple of extra challenges that is allowed then for Ghost. First and foremost, I will try to get all the pickpockets. That is possible. So I'm going to try to do that. Secondly, I'm going to try to get all the valuable items in the mission. So anything with valuable items, I mean anything that you can buy from the loadout screen would be valuable. So all potions, all weapons, um, arrows, mines, uh, bombs, stuff like that. I'm going to pick up anything of value. I'm not going to pick up uh, readables, but I'm going to read them, so I'll return them. And same with keys. I'm going to return keys. Um, except for those that I can't return. So again, I'm going to try to keep to Supreme, but I'm going to prioritize Ghost uh, with a couple of challenges I mentioned there in uh, Mind. So, we actually start with quite a few important and valuable objects. Uh, we have four rope arrows. We're going to need more than that. So I'll have to pick up some. But I mean, I'm going to pick up all the weapons I find. But I will point out along the way which items you have to pick up for Supreme if you want to uh, strictly Supreme Ghost the mission. I will also let you know which items you have to skip, or which loot items, rather, you have to skip for Supreme and keep a tally of that. Um, the speed potion we will uh, not necessarily need, neither will we the scouting orb, the flare, um, but some of the other arrows and, and items we will need here. 
I'll get to that as we go along. But we don't need to buy anything. And that isn't allowed for Supreme, so I'm going to keep that. Um, I'll keep from doing that. So if we look at the abbreviated, uh, let me see, yes, it says find the trigger to open the mines of Margroth. So, so there's not a key, it's a button we have to push. And then it also says uh, maps here. It said information and a couple of things. So it's only maps we need to find in the headquarters. So let's take a look at the map then. Uh, we will start up here. And uh, the first area that we will deal with is this area here. There's an open cave. And there's a miner's town. And there is um, headquarters of that. Hamrites and of the elite guard in here. The briefing mentioned that we will enter as a miner, as a disguised miner, so nobody will react to our presence, except if we go into the headquarters. We're not allowed in there. Or if we get caught pickpocketing anybody, or if we get caught uh, using some kind of weapon. Then we will get caught. Um, and we're going to hit the miner's town first. There's a, an area here that is unknown. We will actually get to that. We'll use that. And this is the entrance to the mines. These, the, the mission is named after the mines that we are ending up entering. There's an ancient miner's residence here. And then there's a collapsed sieve skill. It would be cool if we could come in there, but we can't. And the X's mark the guards and where they're posted. There's four guards in the opening cave. There's one more on the inside of the ham right. There's also a lot of patrollers that is not shown here. But there's a couple of guard stations in here as well. Um, we'll talk about a few more things once we get going here. This is kind of a cryptic map, but it just, just shows what levels we're on. So you can't really infer anything from this, from this um, page right here. But anyway. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get going, and we got to get going kind of fast. Let me see, let's save it. Quick save. I'm going to take a couple of, um, of arrows and keys first. this guy. He has arrows and he has a key. Also going to take that from another guard over here. There we go. So we took two barracks keys. We're going to return all those keys a little bit later, but not now. Down here is a coin. Worth five. Here's a loaf of bread. I'm going to pick that up. And this readable doesn't have anything. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but it is what it is. All right. We're gonna pick up. This is the entrance to the ancient miner's residence. <coughs> pick up a couple of flares here. So, um, I wanted to get the four pickpockets in this area first, since that's a challenge. And uh, now I'm going to end up getting five more um, picks. Three keys and two sets of broadheads from people patrolling this area here. There's plenty of people that patrol around uh, in sort of the basic street area of the miner's town. There's also some more... Uh, pickpockets on the stationary guards. And I'll explain the details there later. So, 
Let's see here. Now, we have to utilize a big fight coming up here in order to better our situation. There is a fight between guards and thieves that we can trigger, sort of, but it's a cr scripted and intended fight, so it's not one that we can really avoid. So we're going to try to use that to our benefit as much as possible. But we can't get caught in the middle of that fight. We just have to wait here. Um, there's going to be a lot of waiting and a lot of retrials. Now, I, I don't really care how long this video ends up becoming. I'm probably going to split it up in a few hours each. If this takes 10 hours, it takes 10 hours. So there are two archers with both keys and broadheads, and then there's one swordsman with a key. We want to get all of those, and we want to get all those from here, from this spot. This is a shop right in front of us. There are two people in the shop. And we have to make sure that during the fight, those two people die. Here we go. Here's one archer. So they won't react to our presence because they think we're a miner. But if they catch us picking their pockets, then they will react. <coughs> so that was five, six, seven pickpockets. There are 24 in total. Eight, nine. That's it, right? Yeah, this guy doesn't carry anything. You make a lot of real save in this one. Let's see. I want to get in here next. This door is pickable, but it's unlocked, so we don't need to worry about it. <laughs> we want to rush in. Now, we can't... We can't pick his pocket right now. We have to wait until he sort of settles. He didn't alert, because... He's neutral to our presence right now. But we can get this bear's key now. Good. Now these guys are weird. Uh, they react... They react to us taking that big... gold nugget there. <sighs> They react to us opening any of the safes, which we can do if we get his key, the other guy here. And they react to us taking any of the arrows over here, but not any of the mines or the flash bombs. We're going to do that. We're going to take the three mines, three gas mines, three flash mines. <laughs> and <laughs> flash bomb. There's a healing potion there. That's a super healing potion, which means that it heals you fully, no matter how low you are. It can be very valuable. <laughs> so we're gonna go over here and get his key. that. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, we can't do it if he turns, because then he'll react when we steal it. <laughs> so this was the... That's the 11th big pocket, by the way. We can probably do it a little bit faster here. Yes. We can take Flash Bomb here as well. Once we've taken the keys, it doesn't really matter what we do with these guys. It doesn't matter if they see us. Good. <coughs> All right. Okay. Next, we need to get the two purses from these two guards. Now, these guards, let me see. <coughs> these guards are actually undercover. They're part of the thieves. They're just waiting for the signal from the thieves to start fighting. So what I want to do first is get her key. No, her purse. And then I need to make sure I don't get caught by the other guard. There. Then I want to move over here. So he has seen us now. If we were enemies, he would probably go into full alarm mode. But he can't see us right now, so we just have to sit here and wait for a little while until he would normally settle down. And then we can take his purse. So the purse from her was worth 75, and I think the same value for this guy's purse. <coughs> so I'll go back in the shop a little bit later and get the other items, but I have to have those two guys dead first. So remember, for ghosts, we can't deal any damage or anything like that. But what we can do in ghosts, which we cannot do in Supreme Ghost, which is nice, is we can douse torches, we can use moss arrows, we can even take damage from falling or from drowning. Um, that's frowned upon, but we can. We can use engine exploits without, uh, you know, as long as it says the last resort. Um, we can... Um, use potions, though that also is a little bit frowned upon. So we want to minimize all those, but we can use that and successfully ghost the mission still. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. It's another 75, total 155. Good. So now we've moved around here. So we're now in the back area of the miner's town. And here's one guy. I've never seen him move. So I don't know what's up with him. But here is the super healing potion. It sounds like you're drinking it when you're taking it, but that's just a part of the sound it makes for picking it up. So I haven't actually drunk it now. Okay. This is the entrance to the kitchen. That's pickable, but it's also unlockable by the by use of the town key. Okay. In this grate here are f no less than five uh, gas arrows. Very valuable. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to unlock this, and then I'm going to get the key from one of the servants in there. <coughs> Her. Let's see if I can get it. Yes. Good. <coughs> oh, the air is getting so filthy lately. Okay. In here, there's some... Food items that I'm not going to take. There is a raw fish. There's a Margrothian Mar fish. That I'm going to take because that can heal you. So that would be valuable. And it functions almost like a fruit. Like a healing fruit. Two cheeses, three cucumbers, two deer legs. 
Then I'm gonna go down here. And here is a uh, bottle of wine worth 50. Ah, my favorite year. And there are three moss arrows. One, two, three behind those barrels. I always like when I goes to pick up all the valuable items. I mean, three moss arrows, that's like 375 loot to buy at the loadout screen. So, But for Supreme, that's not allowed. That's why I normally don't pick that stuff up. Here are two live fish that you can actually shoot, kill them, and pick them up. They are Margrothian fish. They can heal you if you do that, but it counts as damage. Or actually, this one isn't a healing fish. This one is. Only. But you can't pick them up unless you kill them first. Under here are five water arrows, I think. Six water arrows. Not five, six. Seven. Seven water arrows. Okay. So you can pick that one up. That's a raw fish that's worth food, but it's not healing food. <laughs> Back up here. Okay, now we're coming up on the big fight here. See, I'm gonna wait for her to pass. Since we're close to the fight, I don't want anyone to see me because they will react to me as an enemy after the fight starts. Coming up on the other side here. So we've now gone through the kitchen down underneath the basement, and we're coming up in the bar area. Let me see real quick. I can't remember if I locked the door over here. I know that's not a ghost bust, but... I did. Good. Okay. Take these coin pairs from the table here. Grab her arrows. Okay, so that was the 15th pickpocket that we took right there, and the two coin pairs were worth 40, so we should have 245, which we do have. Now we're going to trigger a fight, so let me explain. So upstairs in the middle room here, there is a total of, I believe, six thieves. Um, all of those thieves have something to pick up. Five of them have purses and one guy has... There's there's seven. Seven thieves. Um, five purses and two, has arrow, two have arrows. We're going to pick up all of those. And we have to do that when they run past us. So we have to station ourselves here. Originally I thought that I would, that I would have to douse the torch that's up on the walkway there and get them from the top corner, but I figured I, I, you can actually get them from here. It's a little bit more difficult, but we can. So that's what we want to do. Now there are a lot of guards both in town and out in the outer cave. Plus this bartender here actually fights them as well. All the other ones are civilians. They don't really fight. I think there's a total of 18 guards 
on the City Watch side that fights the seven thieves plus the two undercover guards that I talked about. So that's uh, a total of 18 against nine. But the thieves are much better fighters. So they're most probably going to win most of the battles. And we need them to win. We need them to win, uh, but still end up with most of them dying, if not all of them dying. That's not an easy task. So let's see what we got going here. We gotta wait for that guy to come through for sure. <laughs> So we need the shopkeeper and the other guy in there to die, and we need as many of the guards to die. We, our ideal situation would be for one or two guards to be left, and then all the thieves die. But the thieves to last quite a bit. We're going to trigger that fight once we pass this order. All right, pay attention. We've all been paid. Two. No, there is six guards only because they're one of them has two. Okay. I didn't get one of the purses. All right, pay attention. We've all been paid. We know what to do. In total, there are seven pickpockets, but there's only two th or six thieves. I got them all, but he saw me because you light up when you get the fire arrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Take off, auto equip. So that we don't equip the fire arrow when we take it, because then we get it. All right, pay we get spotted. We've all been paid, we know what to do. Because as soon as this conversation ends, we end up becoming an enemy. What's going on? Oh, so there he got too close to me, so he saw me, and then I took his purse. If I take his purse before he sees me, it's not a big deal. All right, pay Once attention. he does that gesture there, paid, that you know is an indication he's seen me, and that busts ghost. So that we can't do. So this will take um, some retries, I guarantee it. Now I want to save it. Um, let's do just a quick save for now. What? I've got something for you. Oh, this is not good. Better get moving before they see me. Damn! I didn't mean for that to happen. See how you work it. Okay, that's good. All the three thieves in that room killed the enemies. Now we want those three thieves to leave this room and head down to the main area by the shop. I don't have all day. Seems like they're doing that. Maybe right now. Yes. This is fantastic. Now we can't go out too much into this room. I don't want to go out looking for you, so come on out. Last chance. That's the fire arrow guy. Uh oh, the button. 
is pretty good. That fire arrow dude is going at it. As long as he lives, then the thieves are almost invincible. What has happened is that it sounds like there's a thief upstairs here. It's not necessarily too bad. It's freaking spotted. No, I think he's outside. Yeah, from what I can tell, all the thieves have died. Help! Help! Oh, yeah, right here. Right here. So that's not good. We can't have that. But we just have to replay this until the thieves win. Come on out. This is your last chance. That's good. These things are murder. There's a body over here. Come on now, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Those guys need to die. So we can't have this. We can't have this. I don't think that save will be. Assassin! Murder! There's a body over don't here! Uh, yeah, plus too many of the thieves died right there, I think. They have to go into the shop. For us to be able to get that loot. Come on out. You might live long enough to see the sun again. Yeah, okay, so the two guards that were undercover are still alive. Oh my god! A murder! Help!
This is good. <laughs> Look at that mayhem. <laughs> Look at that mayhem. Someone will pay for this! Whoa, 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 whoa. Get help, somebody! I've got a man down! One peep out of you and that's it! Fight me, you coward! Drop your weapons, Tapper! Ah! Ah! Yeah, because now they end up coming after me. Can't do that. Let me check, actually. We've got him now! Yeah, this is good. This is good. Both the guards from over here are dead. After him! So it's only yeah, it's the two guards from this side. That's not an issue if they're if they're still alive. So what I want to do here is that I want to I want to get make sure that I'm not spotted here. Yeah, I'm safe here, actually. Someone will pay for this! Now we can watch the guards come back in and see what happens. As long as we can go around and get the remaining pieces of loot get here... Help somebody! I've got a man down! Someone's been tapping around in here. Come back here. Sure, what happened to the other guards out here now? Ah! Okay, so now. One guy left here, and he's killed everybody. That's excellent. If he can also take down a few of the guys inside, then we're in very good shape. We are in very good shape, then. This is perfect. I believe he's one of the guys from the guard station that was undercover, which means uh, that he will return to the guard station, and that's excellent for us, because then he's out of, out of worry. The other patrollers, we can deal with because we can work around them, we can sneak around them. That's not an issue. It's fantastic. Let me give it a real save there. Great. Now, I know there are a few other guards alive, too, and I would like for this guard to kill as many of those as possible. We can probably do this without him doing that, but let's just wait and see what happens.
you. Who was that dude? Problem is, I can't tell if this is the guard that is for the thieves for the city watch, and now another guy is coming here. It might be spotted, I don't know. Well, fine, you. just have to let this play itself out here. So if these two guys end up attacking each other... See, that voice there doesn't sound like the guy. We, I, I kind of want that thief guy to... That's kind of not good. back at least, that's good.
this is a this is a pretty good situation, so I think I'll stick to that. Which basically means that all the guards out here, plus many of the guards inside, have been killed. The guy that we saw right now is now stationed here, and there's a couple of other people around, but I don't think they're going to be an issue for us. So I. So he's going to keep running back and forth here, then, it seems like. This is a little bit of uncharted territory. I haven't seen this scenario before, obviously, so I'm going to have to just play it by ear here. And like I said before, I don't really care how long this video ends up becoming, so have to bear with me here. I'm a little bit unsure, because now it sounds like that guard is back whistling in the station. So I'm not really sure who it was that ran by us just now. Ah! Yeah, we get spotted here, so that's not good at all. Okay, so there's two guys in here. There's a murderer I saw Huh. Let me see. There's a murderer about. I saw a Yeah, this isn't good at all, because now there's a guy that has returned and stationed himself outside the Hamrite entrance. That is, that is not uh, possible for us to deal with. So we can't have that. So we have to try to manipulate the situation a little bit. We're getting casualties. Watch out. Got a man down. It seemed to me maybe like that guy got injured so much. Because when, when, they're, when they're very low on Watch hit points, out. they easily run to a set, defined spot. And that might be what this guy is doing right now. Yeah. So I think I'm going to have to reload to this one and uh, see what's up. I think we're going to have to replay this scenario from this point on make sure that this guy here is surviving with enough hit points not to be running around like this.
find you. I'll find you. I'll find you. Not sure who that is. That's the problem. That is the biggest problem. Fight me, you coward! I'm gonna take you down. Now he saw me. Okay. Now I, he's got to win that one, and then an archer is coming, so I'm hoping that maybe. There you go. That's good. <clears throat> now he ended up killing, <coughs> excuse me, three other people. And by my prediction, he should be coming back soon now. there should not be a many patrollers left, if any. Make sure that he stations himself. I think we should be good here. <clears throat> this is what I'm going to continue playing, at least for now, and we'll see. Alright, so then we can pretty much 
go ahead and scrape up the rest of the loot here from this section. So we can take now the, this giant golden nugget. It's worth 200. Should be total 445. Go ahead. And click back on the auto equip. Yep. 200. And then we're going to take this. Another super healing potion. And we're going to open up these safes. Um, so, so, one, two, three, four. Fire arrows, one, two, three, four water arrows here. That should be it. Okay. And this one has a, a moss arrows, five of them. And I want to relock these. This is worth 333. Stack of gold coins, total 1128. So that's as many as we should have. There's a readable in here. Uh, Guildmaster Zilfin, I regret to inform you that blue coats and hammers have seized the mining town, and I was forced to seal the gems inside a cart to keep from the, keep them from being found by the officers of the Hammerites. They're safe. Why have I not heard from you? I'm sure with your men you could sneak some kind of message past the guards. Until then, I shall wait for word from the Guild of Thieves. Before this Bantar guy showed up, we made quite a bit of money. Remember, I'm your best fence, and I'm not going anywhere. Crendor. So here there are some gems that are hidden in a cart. This one we have to just drop back on top of the safe. And then we want to relock these. There. Yep. Now we want to drop the key back, because we don't need that anymore. That's just his hand. Okay. <laughs> and we wanted to drop back the barracks key that we took off of this guy. Right here. We've got two barracks keys left, and those are both from uh, archers out in the main cave. And we've got a couple of town keys left. Four of them. And we need one for a little bit longer, but the other three of the other ones we can drop. Well, one we gotta drop in the kitchen. Okay, let's see. I'm unsure about something here. Okay, nobody's left in here, that's good. I don't know where the other guy came from earlier. Take two coin pairs on the bar counter. Worth 20 each. Total 11.68. And we want to take uh, two bottles, three bottles of wine back here. Worth 150. Total 13.18. If you want some fun, some Monty Python references, I'll play these two. Alright, now I want to go down and I want to drop one of the town keys back on the route of this woman that I took it from earlier. Again, I only want to pick up valuable items for ghosts. I, I want to leave keys behind. I can leave it here. The other three I took off of guards that rolled around um, the mining town, so those I can just leave in, in any of the hallways. Alright, I'm not sure where the other... because there are a few people that have not been killed yet. I'm not sure where they are. now. I'm going to read 
this. It's an inter interesting piece of paper. Master Rufus, I know you traveled quite a distance back to us. Uh, a new threat has approached us. A crazy renegade hammerite has stirred up hornet's nest at our doors. He took care of those mechs that were snooping around, but also brought the troops with him. Now there is word an army will be sent with hammerites and possible mech creations. That is why I sent for you. You and your team is the best, and so I'm sending you this payment. The guild needs to assault the town by sneaking in into town posed as miners. Once inside, kill everyone, including the merchant Crendor, who lost my shipment. If you manage to find it, bring it to me and you will be promoted. If you do this job well, I may have your team kill another person that got us in this mess in the first place. Also, we have two guards that are ready to fight for our cause. Don't kill them. Spare no one. Bantor said he sent a lady to aid your escape. Interesting. I don't understand what he was writing about, so look for her. Guildmaster Zilfin. Alright. So I'm assuming that Guildmaster Zilfin was one of the individuals, maybe the guy that ran this meeting. One of the guys that we ended up killing, or that ended up getting killed. interested to see where I just hope we're not screwed in terms of where one of these guards are found. Good. Okay. There is a guy. I knew he was somewhere. Sound the alarm! Not really sure who that is. So it's good to see that he reacts to me, because that means that he didn't react when I was in the when I was in the shop earlier. <coughs> not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. Let's see. So this door is one of the last ones we haven't been to. And it requires the town key to open. Excellent. Lock, lock this door, and I'm going to drop these three. All right. <clears throat> so now we've cleaned everything except for the Hammerite and Guard headquarters. So we want to get in there. Now the intended way in there is to. I assume head through the front door. Which obviously is out here. And we need to use a barracks key to get in there. Ooh, come on out here, son. Problem is that to enter the conventional way, you have a guard that stares straight at the entrance, and there is an electric lamp right behind him that cannot be shut off except for by a switch that we find in one of the adjacent rooms. Now there is a way to get past this guy, and that is actually my ghost challenge for you guys for this mission. To get by this person coming through the front door. Um, Come on now, what was that? They see the bodies probably. To get past this guy uh, for ghost. It is possible to do it for ghost, but it's not a desirable way, if that makes sense. So show me how you can pass you this guard there? to either of the side rooms here uh, for ghost. It's not possible for supreme, but it is possible for ghost. Nothing. So show me how to do that and you pass this challenge. But there is another way to get past him, which I'm going to use which is not the conventional way. This cart, by the way, is the one that was mentioned by uh, Crendor, the shopkeeper. And inside here you have gems. 
And the only way to get those gems is actually by blasting open the crate or the cart. Like this. There are four diamonds worth 200 each, so 800 gold or 800 loot total. We're going to have to skip that because this is obviously property damage and not allowed for Ghost or Supreme. Um, I've never been able to get these for Ghost, um, but it is possible. But it's very unlikely that you are able to do it. Um, one of the thieves uses a fire arrow as his main attack. And if you're lucky, the thief can come out here and in trying to shoot at one of the guards, he might accidentally shoot this cart. And if he does, you are fully you know, permitted to take the gems and use that scenario to your benefit. I've never had that happen, but it is possible since he's shooting fire arrows to have that happen. So we're going to have to skip these 800 loot, but like I said, the loot total is not very high compared to the total amount for the mission, so it's not going to... We're not going to come close to failing that objective. <clears throat> so instead of doing that, we are going to make another real save. Enter the headquarters by the back entrance, which is here. What we're going to do first, though, is... Let's see. We're going to push this big boulder out of the way by throwing a little boulder at it. <laughs> that. Here's another copy of the barracks key. Which, um, if you're playing Supreme, you need one copy of the barracks key. And uh, you're not going to be able to return that key later anyway. So if I had played Strict Supreme in this mission, I would have chosen to take this barracks key. Um, you need to... I mean, you can choose, I guess, not to lock um, the door to the barracks, but then you're going to have to unlock it by another key then. So the, the best bet is to take this key and um, not pick anybody's pocket, I guess. That would be my choice anyway. Here's a flare. There are uh, There's a frog beast egg. And there are uh, there's a water arrow as well. <laughs> now we're going to push this back in place. And this one was right here. Something like that. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that guy didn't alert to any of that. There you go. Now we have to get through this way to enter the headquarters by the back entrance, by the sewer entrance, which is not... Um, an entrance that is supposed to be penetrated except by breaking these boards, which also would be property damage. But you can actually squeeze through on the left-hand side here pretty easily. I've got a method down. Might take me a little bit, but I think I know how to do it. There we go. That isn't too difficult. Now, on the shore here, you can barely see it, is a moss arrow, which we're going to take. There you go. Now, you cannot get back up here. That's not possible. You can't even mantle. And even if you did, I don't think there's a way to rope arrow up. Maybe there is. I'm not sure. I don't think so. So down here is really only the entrance to the headquarters. But if you go in this direction... Here's a big blue... Um, a big blue geode, it's called, if you pick it up. Those function like normal boulders, except you can shoot them with a fire arrow, and they turn into what's called an energized coal crystal. And those coal crystals you can pick up and they become an inventory item, and they almost function like a an explosive device. Explosive crystal. Or, yeah. Like a sunburst device. They're not as powerful, but 
they are used uh, for the same purpose. So we're going to go up here instead. I think it is the guy by the main entrance we're actually hearing. See, when I climb up this, I usually hear somebody alerting, but I think that's a scripted event from the fights outside. Hey! Yeah. Hear that. <laughs> All right, this is a tricky part of the map for sure. This uh, bot is not operative, by the way, and around here is an explosive charge. We're going to take that. Play Strict Supreme, then you also have to pick this up. It's one of those items that you need to pick up, at least in my opinion, to Supreme this mission as good as possible. Alright. Real save in here. Now, let me explain. You don't see the second floor of the HQ in this map, but it's up these stairs. It's not very big. There are total of six bedrooms with some hammer guards and two hammer priests and they're going to be important and um, the button to open the, the entrance to the mines which is an objective is up here on the second floor and also um, the trigger that opens the vault which is this door we are here right now this is uh, the area we, we emerge from the sewers um, the trigger, which is actually a readable, once you read it, the vault door opens, and the gem of Oldorf, which is another objective, comes out. Now there's a bunch of guards patrolling on the first floor, and then there's also that stationary guard, which we saw at the main entrance. Uh, now the gem of Oldorf is actually an AI, it's, a, it's an enemy, but it's also an enemy to the City Watch and to the Hammerites. So they're going to end up fighting that gem, and that's inevitable, you can't prevent that from happening going to come out, it's going to shoot, and uh, usually kill the majority of the guards. Um, now, the only thing that can possibly harm the gem of Old Orf is um, the magical hammers that the two priests from upstairs are shooting. So we need them to kill the gem for us, because then we can just go ahead and pick it up. If not, then we have to kill the gem, and that counts as a kill, and it counts as dealing damage. And that I don't want. It busts even ghosts. So we need the hammer priests, one of them, to go downstairs. They will, because they will hear the fight, and uh, help the City Watch kill the gem, essentially. It's the only way around getting that ghost bust. So what we have to do now is we have to sneak through the dining room, through the kitchen, and then get upstairs as quickly as possible. Uh, however, since I'm playing ghosts, I also want the pickpocket from the guard by the front door that we saw earlier. He has uh, the final pickpocket before we head into the mines. And uh, that's another barracks key, a copy of the barracks key. Now he usually gets killed by the gem, or at least we want him to get killed. We want the gem to kill everybody. Um, maybe bar one or two patrollers, but we definitely want the gem to kill that, that guard, otherwise it's almost impossible for us to leave properly, at least without taking Supreme Busts. So I want to go over there and um, grab his key first, and then head upstairs and trigger the gem. And that can be tricky, to say the least. First First thing we need to do is cross the hallway here. Let's 
take some pieces of loot too here. There's a vase, hidden vase in the middle here. With 100. And there's six goblets. With 15 each. here we want to take. Okay, I think we're safe here. This place we're worth 50. And here's another fish. And there is a water arrow. And there's a fire arrow. The stove. And there's a bottle of wine up here worth 50 total, 16.58. There's also a cheese and a loaf of bread here. Here we are safe too. Now I want to go across here through these bedrooms. Then I need to shut off the lights to this area in order to get that pickpocket. I want to do that for Ghost. That is obviously not something I would ever do for Supreme, but since that's the challenge I'm going to put on this mission or this playthrough, then I want to do that. I'm going to turn the lights back on again afterwards right away so that it's only for this pickpocket. I don't want to use that to my advantage for any other reason. I'm just gonna head upstairs and take a look at something real quick. We're in shock! Where is Sheriff Gorman Church? Okay, that's nice. Last time I played... There's only four bedrooms upstairs, is there? There's something just there. All right, you stop. We got a thief here. Yeah, there is. And last time I played, I could not play without one of the hammer priests being stuck. Doesn't look like that is happening this time, which is great for us. Very nice. These have random <coughs> parts along their patrol where they can turn around. I'm going to pick all this stuff up later, the stuff that I'm passing right now. Still gonna get a first alert from this guy, I think. Come on out here, son. Yeah. But I'll take that since I want the pickpocket. I want to show you guys that it's possible. Uh, I better cut back on all this overtime. False alarm, I guess. So we got another one from him leaving too. I'll accept that just because I want the pickpocket, like I said. Obviously, I would never accept that for Super Supreme. enter this bedroom, mm -hmm. which of course he did. I think that's random. Is that you? But I'm not sure.
It's much better for me to wait here than anywhere else. Difficult to find an opening here, but all we really need to do is get up there and into the backmost room. Yeah, there are only four bedrooms, not two. So there are two hammer guards, hammerite guards, those with the maces, and then there are two hammer priests. Dark, but it's difficult to get up here still. Identify thyself. So we want to make sure that we can sneak past this area without getting spotted here. They're somewhat synchronized. <clears throat> I think they are actually. This is a lever that shuts off the lights. That I don't want to do. That ought to do it. So that checks off finding the trigger to open the mines of Margroth. There's a guard, it seems like, on his way up here, so we're gonna wait for him. And turn around. Okay. So wh what's gonna happen here is that I'm gonna end up reading a scroll that's in this um, southeastern bedroom. And that is going to then trigger the opening of the vault door. Then when they end up being lured downstairs, they're going to hear the shots of the gem, which are pretty loud. I'm going to save it there. Call it before gem. Uh, when they are head going downstairs, I'm going to save it, because I need to pick up all the pieces of loot and read a couple of things in um, the bedrooms here because they're going to end up killing the gem and some of them are going to return. So I don't want to be up here and have to deal with getting that loot when they are back in their bedrooms. So I want to make sure that everybody leaves, goes downstairs, so that I can freely loot the bedrooms up here. You're also going to have a couple of guards that are going to run up here to sort of alert them. You can't lean in. That's the problem here. I believe that there was a smuggling operation here. Rumors point toward the inf infamous Guild of Thieves. If that is the case, all the carts and merchants, the ones that are still alive, be searched when our brothers arrive. We will deal with the gem at that time as well, Brother M Minaro. Now, on to the vault. There we go. Okay, so I now, what happened was that one of the objectives that told you to get the gem changed to the gem is hidden in the vault. Grab it. So it sounded like uh, we got an objective checked off, but we didn't. I think you shall not save me, villain. Time to earn your commission. I saw noises in the night that the builder, builder did not intend. Oh. Hmm. All right. So that was. I've never seen so many people out in the hallway. That early. You saw me there. I don't want any first alerts here. This is a part that we've been required to do for Supreme, so. Now, on to the vault. I've got an 
Intruder! Sound the alarms! We've got an intruder around. Our guy running around in here a few minutes back. That's excellent so that they were all running down there. Except for that one guard. Fight me, you coward! Yeah, he didn't hear me. Here is a gem, or a ring rather, and a hammer. Come out and face me, villain! Reload it here. This one, because I want him to leave quicker. That's excellent. Ring worth 100 and a hammer worth 75. Do this as quickly as possible here. Another ring and a hammer in this room. Two readables also. Brother Kisses. Brother Arkari told me before he died that he could not bear the weight of both bodies of Brother Daniel and Shanti when he fled the catacombs after the ambush. He left the two bodies in the north embalming chamber near the entrance of the catacombs. Perhaps we should have some armed priests retrieve the two bodies. Please bring more supplies of holy water, mines, and flash bombs. The Builder's plan shall prevail. Brother M Maliki. Brother Maliki, I regret to be informed by you that brothers Daniel, Shanti, Arkari, Derwick, Boren, Gladstone, and Atti did not return from the mines. We hope to learn more about the mines before the sending more brothers. The mechanists don't really want to, sell, to help saying that they have troubles of their own. I did not want to tell them that the dead have awakened since we entered the catacombs, but I will. We need more forces to fight the dead. With more of the mechanist tools, we could clear what Bantor has buried. And clear a path that lead up to his throne room. Interesting. I wish there was another way. Brother Kisses. There. There's a few more pieces of loot. here. Oh, there's a hammer on the floor. Right there. There's a ring here. Hammer here and another readable. Brother Minaro, the work on the modifications of the power grid of the pre precursors is taking longer than we hoped. We will need more transformers and wiring to complete power, completely power the merchant's tombs and the Hall of Lost Heroes. There are rumors of curses placed on the tombs, so don't allow any of the members of the army to loot the tombs. That is also interesting. As for the ghosts, they seem to be able to form into what we fear the most. We lost Brother Shanti last week. He noted something strange about the Hall of Lost Heroes, but he never managed to express what he noted to me. Perhaps there is much more to these halls than just mines and catacombs. Some of the artifacts that the mechanists wrote about suggest that these ruins are older than the ancient ruins far below the city. This place seems like the Maw, but we know that it isn't, Brother Daniel. Alright, so I'm gonna make a little test save here and head downstairs and see what's going on. Like I said, I'm, I'm requiring two things that the gem gets killed and that that the guard by the main entrance dies. To the alarm! Come on, coward. Face me like 
like a man. Still alive, the gem that is. But I don't know if the hammer priests are alive. Die, Tapper! At least one is. here. Seems like the gem is up above everybody else. Gem was right there. You had it now. Come on and fight me. That's it. You've had it. Okay, so I just want to let you guys know I'm shoehorning this video in the middle uh, after the fact that the next 20 minutes will be without narration. I clicked the mute button on my mac microphone by accident, but I'm just uh, replaying and trying to figure out this whole gem fight for the next 20 minutes, and then I'll be back. We got problems here. the vault. I shall spy 
With mine shall bring this bow down.
Cease thy hiding, Craven. Turn you up sooner or later. Come out and face me, thief! Thou shalt not hide. Just one move, Tapper, in your mind. I know you're around. Somewhere. Hiding shall not save thee. Cease thy hiding, Craven. Oh, Nothing thou shalt see. Come forth! Thou canst not stay him. in shadows forever.
Come out and fight me! Just wait till I find you. Hiding shall not save thee. I shall spy thee ere long, thief. Come find you! Thank you. 
shelves on high. I shall spy thee ere long. Okay, so I I think I accidentally turned off my microphone a little bit ago, so I might have been without any narration there. Apologize for that. But now I'm back. I realized what I had done there. And uh, excuse my voice. It's been a couple of days since I recorded the first part, and I've caught a cold. But I'm getting a little bit better, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I think we've just spent the last 20 minutes sort of replaying this fight, and I think hopefully this should be a good scenario. I'm going to run down and see who's left. Okay, so there we have the gem is under here. Yes, excellent. I think there's one guy left, and it's not the guard by the front door. He's dead. Yeah, this is pretty perfect. So we're going to try and go for that. So we're going to loot the rest of this place. Here's a purse. Worth 100, and another purse here. Worth 100 more. Total 25, 58. There's one more in here, I think. Yep. 26, 58. Here's 15 broadheads. Here's a healing potion, and here's a scroll. Sergeant Cronus. Yes, the Hamrites have sealed off the mines until the approaching army arrives. I, too, think those Hamrites are not telling us the whole story. However, I am sorry that you don't like the Hamrites. That's just tough. We are hired to perform two tasks. Watch the Hammerites and offer assistance. I say we wait until the army arrives. Since Bantar's headless fiends explode when they die, I don't think the Count wants his prized troops killed as pawns in some Hammerite plot. Let those Hammerites die, not us. Lieutenant Yobi. So this is interesting. There's some headless fiends. We'll meet those later. guy might be on his way here. I think we are safe here. Though I'm not a hundred percent. So it took a little bit of trial and error to figure out the method for them killing the gem is pretty random. And Take that! Oh, I was not safe here. Okay, I was sure that I was. That made a lot of noise, but I'm not sure if I'm safe here either. I don't want to make that big noise there, because what I have, when they're in this state, they're sometimes in a constant, in a constant first alert state, and sometimes they give settling remarks without ever giving the first, first alert.
Okay, in this room there are the maps. Hamrite maps checks off the objective to find them. And that increases our arsenal of maps to include this one, an overview of all the tombs, which we'll cover when we get there. And this is also an overview of some of the upper mines. We can't return those maps, so we don't need to. Here's another readable. Lieutenant Yobi, I don't like working with these Hamrites. I feel like at any time they could turn on us. Since they won't let us in the catacombs, we have sent troops up into the mines and discovered that Bantar has some headless metallic beasts that are vicious. Fire does not damage them. We sent two men to hold up those beasts off while we fled to gather in numbers. And when we returned, we found only two burnt and gashed corpses of our fallen. What will we do since they sealed the mine? These Hamrites must know some information about the catacombs and those fiendish creatures. Sergeant Cronus. Okay, I'm going to load because I don't want to take that. So it seems like Bantar has summoned quite a bit of different types of creatures here. And we're going to and we're going to encounter those a little bit later. Now, the guard that is on his way around the premises, he does alert when he sees some of the bodies again. So if he alerts, that's not because of us. This is the vault then that opened when we triggered the readable upstairs. And here's where the gem came out from and started wandering and attacking. So you hear that? He runs back now to the place upstairs. So here are, I believe, 16 gold stacks and uh, 16 silver stacks. And then nine copper stacks. And we should be at 3,295, which is where we're at right now. We might have to wait for him. There's some loot in the chapel here. There's some loot that we have to skip quite a bit, actually. We've already skipped 800 from the cart that we can't break out in the main cave. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for him to pass. You can also hear some fire elementals. Um, they probably got alerted from the fight. And um, they are guarding ten diamonds in the cave underneath the chapel. And there's just no way we can get to those diamonds because we have to use fire arrows to open a hidden passage. I'll show you how to do that. Oh, 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 oh. Unfortunately, the fire elementals will uh, hear the fights every time, and they will hear the shots from the fire arrows and alert. So there's just no way we can get to that. Here's the gem. Checked off this. We didn't take it from the vault, but it came from the vault. two chests that we want to pick in here with a um, couple of hammers, I think. Oops. Those are worth 150 total, so we should have 34, 45. And then there is a gem here that actually illuminates. So you have to skip this for Supreme, 
but since I'm going for regular ghost now, I'm going to take that. Total 34.95. But that's a loot item that you have to skip for Supreme. Uh, that was not a good shot at all. I don't know if he saw me there. I don't want to risk that. I couldn't really tell. I, I can't go fast here because it's metal. And if I go m fast on metal, those fire elementals will alert to me. Even though they are already alerted. I just don't want to risk busting ghost here. There's a stack of gold coins worth 100, so that's total 35.95. That's enough skulking about then. Yeah, so he didn't alert to me there. He can't hear me on this ice. So let me show you. If you use a fire arrow on the sun here, and a fire arrow on the sun, which is what will alert the fire arrows, or the fire elementals. Then you're going to open a panel here, takes you down to an area where I think there's four elementals. And at the end here, there are ten diamonds spread around. There's also a bunch of fire arrows here, if you want that. So you have to skip that. That's another thousand. So in total, there's 1,800 so far skipped for Ghost, and another 50 besides that for Supreme. So I'll summarize all that at the end of the mission for you guys. <clears throat> okay. Now in here, I want to drop the barracks key from the guard. And we want to head outstairs, or outside. And here is yet another gem that we have to skip for Supreme, worth 50 more. So that's a total of 1,900 for Supreme. And I also want to drop one of these two barracks keys that I took from one of the archers here. But the other one I want to carry with me. So we are now done with the entire area in the miner's town and outside and the uh, HQ. And we did that fairly smoothly, I would say. And we're now going to head into the ancient miner's residence and then furthermore into the mines. Let's read this. Attention, the mines are closed by order of the Hammerites, Captain Dale Hollow. Okay. In here, a couple of areas that are sealed up. Nothing up here, but you can hear something. Uh, in this room, there's a bunch of dead guards, and I think there's a total of 11 broadheads. I think that was it. A couple of um, bug swarms here. But in here is the woman that was talked about, apparently sent by Bantar, in one of the readables that was mentioned. She is, um, I would call, 
her a bug beast lady, female version of the bug beasts. And we can... That's a first alert right there. We can sneak by her, only getting a first alert. And I want to take one, two, three mines in this room. We're going to get the settling remark when we sneak by here. You'll hear it. Yep. That is the first inevitable <laughs> Supreme Bust. You cannot get by her without taking a Supreme Bust. I've tried every which way. You can't attach rope arrows in the ceiling. You can't stack anything because then you have to return the stack. And that's another Supreme Bust then. <coughs> and she, she catches you every time you pass. <coughs> but I thought initially it would be a Ghost Bust. Until I found that you could... <coughs> excuse me. You could simply sneak along the the western end there. This is the door that opened when we clicked uh, the button in the mines. <clears throat> this rock right here you can shoot with a fire arrow and it turns into a geode that you can shoot again and get one of those crystals. So we want to flip this lever so that we close this door again since it was closed when we started the mission. And then I'm gonna make a real save because we are heading into the mines. All right. So now we're shifting gears here. First, there is another mine on the floor here that we have to pick, it's armed. That doesn't count as a lock pick, by the way. But we can take the mine, which is great. And we're going to come across some new creatures here. First, there's spiders, which are not new. But um, there's a couple of Burricks that are called Shadow Burricks. And they are Burricks that see just as well in Perfect Shadows as they do in regular, regular lit up areas. So you cannot get by them unless you are maintaining Perfect Shadows, which is very difficult to do, obviously. They don't like mushrooms it seems like because one of them is going to eat a couple of mushrooms right here and they're going to head up a ramp to the left there that's a triggered script so it's not going to be counted as a bust a couple of spiders in there no need to worry about those here as well. There's another Burrick. He has his back turned, so they don't see you directly behind them. But in this, on the side and in front of them, they'll see anything that is even the slightest glimmer in uh, the light jet. You can actually sneak over to the front of him on the left-hand side, but when you get hit by the light from this mushroom, you get caught. But we're going to return here a little bit later. We're instead, though, going to head into the mines next. Or the tombs, rather. We came from the mines just now. And this is an interesting place. Catacombs of the Ancient Ones. So that is now we're going down at this point. So we are right... Um, at the entrance now to this room, which leads us into two embalming chambers, north and south. We're going to take the south one for reasons that I'm going to explain. There are certain sections in the tombs that we're going to visit right now. The commoners is completely empty. We just have to go through it. The merchants is uh, uh, quite trafficated in terms of patrollers. Uh, a few things to pick up in these rooms, but not too much. Uh, the Hall of Lost Heroes is a very strange place that I'll explain to you and very difficult. And that also has the uh, exit to Bantar's lair that we're going to find down here. The Hall of Lust, or the Halls of Sorrow, has a few things to pick up, but most notably it has the stairs up to the upper mines. 
However, we're not going to be able to go that way, and I'll explain that later as well. Then we have the Well of Lost Souls, which we're going to head first now, where an objective is found, and we're also going to hit this embalming chamber. So we're going to go through here and into this area before we hit the Hall of Lost Heroes. Time to raid some tombs. Anybody home? So this lock can be picked, but it also responds to the barracks key for some odd reason. I should be careful in here. There are likely a few traps around. So here you have a choice, really. We're going to return, though, later. Uh, but if you pick this open, you can't relock it, even though that is required for Supreme, since it can be relocked. But if you relock it, you need the barracks key, in which case you can't return the barracks key without taking another bust from that Bugly's lady up there. You have to go past her to go back. So I choose to avoid the first load from her and hang on to the barracks key. I want to relock this door. I feel that taking a key and not returning the key is one of the smallest busts you can make for Supreme. So I'm going to relock this. Unlock this from the inside if you lean around it like that. Okay, this is the north embalming chamber. There's a couple of sleeping zombies in here, so I'm not going to go in this way. You can go in here without alerting him if you use rope arrows in the ceiling. But they each wake up at the same time, actually, when you pass an invisible you know, barrier. So we're not going to do that. We're instead going to head into the south one. These are not sleeping zombies, any of them. Healing potion here, a couple of lockers that we're going to open. And I think there's one flash bomb here. Yep. And then we can open the lockers. And in here you have another explosive charge, which comes up separately in the inventory list. Valueless hammer and uh, six flash bombs, actually. And a holy water vial. Again, I'm just taking those because they're valuable to me and you can't take them from Ghost. But I still want to adhere to all the other Supreme rules. Was there a readable in here? I thought maybe there was one. Maybe that's in the other chamber. of commoners. There are some ghouls, some white looking zombies that patrol here. You can use some spiders. But they rarely come into the commoners area. I've seen them in here. You can hear them here. So we're now down at this entrance, so we're going to head up along the west side here. save. Okay, here comes a very, very special place. Um, this is a generator room. There's a switch here that you can flip, and I'll explain what that switch does later on. It's extremely odd. Uh, difficult to explain unless I show you the area that it affects. Okay, I'm going to wait for some, people, from some of those ghouls to pass here.
Okay, so you can get in here for Supreme, because you can just disarm these without necessarily taking the mines. But two mines here. And in here are two golden skulls, and they are worth 100 each. So that should be 20, 38, 45. That was this little tomb right here. One. And we're gonna get to an area that has spiders. None of the spiders are stuck. Nothing in this room except for just a ramp that goes around the room. some lit up areas that we have to pass without getting spotted. Like that. Don't know exactly how many spiders there are, but... Three or four, I think. There, I think that's it. Move down here. I don't want to talk too much because the atmosphere here is gripping. You can feel it. Now this room is an odd one because there is a mine just inside the entrance and in Old Dark you were supposed to use the gem. If you hold the gem in front of you or throw it on the floor, the mine suddenly became visible. You could use the gem for that. But that feature has been lost in New Dark for some reason. You can't do that. Um, at least, well, let me try. I mean, it's an to try, right? Yeah, you were supposed to be able to see the mine. There is an invisible mine here. That becomes visible when you disarm it. So we can do that. Now in here, there is uh, ten skulls in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine, ten. Then there is a huge diamond up here worth 200. And there is a crystal shard and another worth 50 total. And then there are two chests with loot that we have to pick. Total 45 45. Good. We're on track here. Here we go. Nice. Some of the ghouls walk slower, so sometimes in the past I've thought that they've been second alerted, because then they usually walk slower. 
but some just walk faster than others. So now we're right here. We're going to head around here and up to the Well of Lost Souls. Let's just go for it. I knew that we were safe here, so... got to get a feel for it. The pulsating lights makes this kind of difficult. Or uh, makes it very difficult, actually. Three or four zombies in that area, and they have a random patrol route. I just read an interview um, made with Skaki, um, the author of Endless Rain and a lot of other good fan missions. He's got some nice projects going as well. I'm looking forward to it. And he mentioned that one of the most important things for him in fan missions and in Thief the Dark project was the use of sound. And I completely agree with him. The use of sound is so incredibly underrated. In uh, video games, I mean, I don't play a lot of modern games, but the use of sound in Thief, I think, is perfectly implemented, especially in the Dark Project. And the sounds in this area here is just magnificent, absolutely incredible. Okay, let me just see here. Right, yes, so now we're in the Well of Lost Souls area. Go in here, in here, and should be a chest in here that we can pick the lock on as well. a tiara, they're worth 125, total 4670. Close the chests. 